Nina Mani, Nai Nari Kamakwi Marija, Nai Wangadi, Nai Mikudni, Gani Yatana, Hiri Ki Yata, Tanya Tanya. Welcome to the lands of the Ghana people and the Adelaide Plains area. My name is Vicky O'Brien and I'm the descendant of the Ghana people. And I say hello to you today. And I'd like the opportunity to talk to you about the earlier days of Australia when it was colonised by the British. People believe that it was discovered by the British, but it was the First Nations people who discovered them. And South Australia in 1836 was a free colony, which was something different because the King himself, King William IV, really wanted the Aboriginal people to be a part of this nation building. And we saw that in his letters, the letters patent, that he wrote that he wanted the Aboriginal people to own and occupy the land that they stood upon. Sadly for us as the Aboriginal people, that didn't happen. And that was largely for two reasons. One, the King dying uh, six months after writing that letter, and that we didn't see also the Governor, Governor Hindmarsh, talk about that. But also, what didn't uh, also occur was the letters patent didn't reach the shores of South Australia until 1904, which was after Federation in 1901, which excluded the Aboriginal people. And so really, for us as the Aboriginal people, it's been a journey of free discovery, but really in a sense, recognising our connection to this country, but also the importance that we play in that. And when you think about those early days, we saw that even in the Governor's Seal of 1836, that there were two people on that seal, and that being an Aboriginal person and a person from Britannia. And that person from Britannia was also a female person. And the Aboriginal person was sitting on a rock throne and was also demonstrating their connection to this nation because there was a kangaroo above his head. But we also saw that symbol being recognised as the second flag of South Australia from 1876 to 1904. So again, these images, these connections of our people being embedded into this nation was very important. But sadly, it's been missed. It hasn't been recognised to the connections of what it was meant to be, and that was to be an equal party. And my great-great-great-grandmother, Canado, who came to the uh, native school in those early days to learn to read and write English, also demonstrated those connections because she was the first Aboriginal person in South Australia to marry a non-Aboriginal man, being Tom, Thomas Adams. And so it was, again, a, an important uh, role that she played in building these two cultures. And so our people have always continued to want to share our knowledge, our wisdom, this land with others as we've always welcomed people. And I ask you to explore these things as you take your journey of discovery. Because that letters patent a, a very important document and to really understand and value those words that was demonstrated by the King. And so as I do and as all my people do, we never say goodbye, we always say see you later. And so, nakata and naitaya. Thank you.